Several complaints have poured into us here at 41 Action News, and people are telling us that their week old trash is still rotting on the curb. With so many complaints, our team did some digging to find out the root of the problem. Yeah, 41 Action News reporter Josh Helmuth spoke with a couple of people who say they are fed up with this service. And Josh, you actually also spoke with Deffenbaugh on why this problem is getting worse. Yeah, I did. In fact, we've done several stories on this problem already this year. Earlier in the winter, Death and Ball blamed the weather for their trash pickup delays, but now they say it's something completely different. But no matter what the issues are, it doesn't matter. People around here, they just want their garbage picked up. Mike Frazier just moved into this Overland Park neighborhood. After just one week, he doesn't have a good first impression of Deffenbaugh. Hopefully it'll get picked up this week, but there are no assurances. Deffenbaugh picked up his trash two days late, and after a week, his recycling bin is still full. Well, Deffenbaugh said, um, we're working on it, and that's it. It's an, um, there is no definitive answer. Frazier's neighbors share his frustration, and just a short drive away, another Overland Park homeowner waited a week for Deffenbaugh to pick up her garbage. When the trash is not picked up for a week, it's a health risk. Daniela Fredericks HOA just started using Death and Ball. She feels powerless because her association has a contract with the company through the end of the year. Those fees are paid in advance. We had promises the whole week. Every day they would say, we'll come by tomorrow, we'll come by tomorrow. We went to Death and Ball to get answers. They acknowledged the problem and apologized. That doesn't meet our service levels, and we know it doesn't meet the customer service levels either. The company says the pickup delays are due to a shortage of drivers in the workforce, but they're already taking steps to hire dozens of new drivers. We held a job fair in June and we have 13 people in various stages of training from that job fair right now. But for customers like Fraser who pay in advance each quarter, waiting for the fleet of new drivers may not be an option. Do what you're expected to do, what you pay to um, perform. While Overland Park doesn't have an exclusive contract with Death and Ball, many cities in the area do. Jessica McMaster looked at some of those contracts. Jess, what'd you find? Josh, some city leaders tell us that they too are frustrated with Death and Ball. In fact, a Prairie Village spokesperson tells us the city is bidding out the work for the very first time in 14 years, telling us they don't have enough staff to keep up with the amount of complaints that are actually coming in. Here's a look at Prairie Village's contract with Death and Ball. It's for $1.3 million a year. The contract dates back to 2002, the last time the city opened the bid to other trash service providers. When we questioned the city about this, Assistant City Administrator Administrator West Jordan told us Deffenbaugh raises their costs if the city sends it out for bid. Jordan says that's what happened in 2002. So while Deffenbaugh remained the lowest bidder that year, it wound up costing the city more to contract with them. Since then, the council has since decided to renew with Deffenbaugh every year until now due to the amount of complaints Prairie Village already opened and closed the bidding process. The city's decision will be based on cost and quality of service. Prairie Village will make their selection public on Thursday. Now, I also spoke with a representative for Kansas City, Kansas, who tells me that the city has a six million dollar annual contract with Deffenbaugh that doesn't expire until 2033. And Mike and Rhiannon, while the city says that they've received a lot of complaints, they tell me Deffenbaugh has been responsive to those and has taken corrective action in that area. And the bottom line, people who live there just want their trash picked up. Mm. So we'll Right, see they just want to get what they're paying for. Just thank you.